All right, guys, we need a quick money-making tactic that will make the community want to buy more of our stuff and make Skylanders a successful game. Well, what if we listen to the community and uh, made cr Creation Crystals resettable so they could have an infinite number of combinations? Or what if we put PvP back into the game? Or, or battle mode? Or any of these options that they wanted? Or we actually make a use for the old gimmick characters or, or anything like that? Oh, thanks for the feedback. That sounds like so much work. Let's disregard everything the community says entirely. Hey there, guys. Portalmaster9351 here, and I am not a happy person. I want to make that clear. I am not happy about these decisions. First, you tell me. First, you tell me. We can't reset creation crystals. First you tell me this. Then you tell me that, oh, there's no PvP. But then you tell me, hey, there's no sort of actual combat mode in the game. No score mode. No actual combat mode. Nothing like the Chaos Doom challenges or the battle arenas. You tell me that there's none of that. And you still want us to buy a ton of stuff. Like, listen, listen, listen. I'm still gonna buy stuff, but I am a dedicated fan. And that's why I'm buying this stuff. Think about this from the perspective of someone not as dedicated as myself. Why are they going to want to buy a game where they don't listen to the community? This is seriously what's going on right now. Creation crystals cannot be reset. And there's a, a whole scenario that I'm going to explain why that's going to be a huge, huge issue. There are so many problems with this that I don't even know where to start, to be completely honest. I'm going to start with no battle mode. Like, no, no, sorry, no, not, not, not no battle mode, but no, or, no, like, arena or, like, score mode or a, a battle mode. Like, there wasn't Swap Force and Trap Team or Giants. Why isn't this in here? We have another Battle Brawl Island-like area, and this has been confirmed by the people who have already gotten the game and have already found all this out for us. What in the actual heck, Activision? What the heck? I mean, seriously, arenas would have been so simple to implement. So simple. It would have just required sitting down and creating it. It wouldn't have required massive overhauls, massive changes. You would have just had to have created it. It is so simple, but yet we don't have it. We don't have it. It is a wild, widely, widely requested feature. But we don't have it. That's ridiculous. Unacceptable, to be completely honest. I, I'm, I'm blown away by the fact that there's not even a, 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 an arena of some sorts, or like a Brock's Battle Arena, something like that. It just disappoints me, because that is something I really enjoyed, and we don't have it. What else? Non-resettable creation crystals. Let's move on to that topic. So basically, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life, that you can't reset creation crystals. So, sorry, you don't get infinite possibilities. You get finite possibilities that are restricted by the amount of disposable income you have. That is the truth. That is the truth behind creation crystals. You don't get infinite numbers of possibilities. It's very restricted. It is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I totally understand not being able to have multiple characters per creation crystal. Totally understand why you can't have 10 different fire imaginators saved to one crystal. That's not crazy. But the fact that I can't pick a swashbuckler and change it to a bazooka later is ridiculous. 100% ridiculous. Let me tell you something. Creation crystals will work inside of the box. Do you know how easy it would be for me to go to my local store, buy the creation crystals, put them on the portal, make them all let's say, quick shots, and then return them. And then, when someone goes out to the store to buy those creation crystals, they're already quick shots. Nothing can be done. They don't know this till they've unboxed it. Now they can't return it. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing can be done about that. That is ridiculous how easy it would be for me to troll my entire 
neighborhood, my entire city. I could just go to a store, buy all the creation crystals, make them quick shots, and they wouldn't be able to do a thing about it. That is how ridiculous this scheme, scheme is the right word for it, really, is. It is nonsense. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> there are no words to describe it. That's how dumb it is. <sighs> Creation crystals, one of the biggest advertised points behind them was infinite possibilities. And they're not infinite. They're finite. The opposite of infinite. That's basically false advertising, which is absolutely unacceptable. And I really can't stand it. We signed a petition. We have made it very well known. I have, I've seen people commenting on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter posts, YouTube rants, a, a, an online petition to make these things resettable. And they're still not resettable. PvP, the third and final thing I'm ranting on today. PvP, the biggest, the biggest, the largest, the hugest, the, the most requested feature of all is still not implemented. How many people in the community want PvP? Nearly 100%. Do we have PvP? No. Because Activision has now shown that they apparently don't listen to their fans. You know, I really, I really try not to be mean here, but that is really the only way to put it. They're not listening to the consumer, to the fan base. And while I'm still going to buy Imaginators, and listen, if you like the Skylanders experience the way it is, which I, I do, I like that. Go ahead and buy it. And I encourage you to do that. And I'm not saying don't buy it because of this. I'm just saying this is ridiculous. But it's not gonna... There are... The most popular games are PvP enabled. You take a look. Let's, let's look at Minecraft, for instance. The only reason that it is even still relevant is PvP and mods. Listen, not expecting mods in Skylanders. I'm not expecting that. So already crossed that one off the list. What's the other reason I just said? PvP. What do we not have? PvP. It is in every popular game, but not Skylanders. Why does this make any sense whatsoever? Why does it make any sense? It doesn't. It simply does not make sense. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why there's not PvP. It's because someone would have to sit down and balance the Skylanders. But you know, this wouldn't be an issue if they had balanced them from the get-go. Why is PvP broken? It's because in the first three games, no one bothered to balance the characters and they got way unbalanced and you ended up with characters. They could basically just walk into PvP, basically, hi, I'm here, and the other Skylander would die. Well, maybe if they hadn't let that happen, it wouldn't have gotten out of control because my trap team, it was so out of control that to have implemented, to have implemented this guy would have meant basically... He is the only person who can ever win in PvP, Wallop. But maybe, just maybe, if they had balanced the original 32, the 16 new ones from Giants, and the 32 new ones from Swap Force, maybe it wouldn't have been a problem by the time we got to Trap Team. Maybe it wouldn't have been a problem. But yet, because they didn't balance them, it was a problem. And by the time they got to Trap Team, how they wanted to fix it, they would have had to have overhauled every single character in the game. If they had just started with the original 32, balanced them, would never have developed into a problem. So, now that it's Imaginator's time, they didn't want to take the time to balance them. Which is ridiculous, because the amount of interest that would be created by that is enormous. So many people want it. But yet... They don't take the time to balance it. Listen, Skylanders is a multi-billion dollar franchise, but you're telling me that you get higher, 10 to 50, I don't know how many people it takes. Either way, it's a multi-billion dollar franchise. So honestly, money shouldn't even be an issue here. You can't just hire 
a hundred or a thousand or a million people, not a million, but you get the idea, people, to just balance PvP, it wouldn't be that hard. You just go in there and you're like, hmm, Wallop does a lot of damage. Maybe we just take this 10 and change it to a 5. There, the problem solved. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm really sorry for being this way, but some of this stuff just had to be said because it is absolutely ridiculous that all of these things have appeared. And I'm sure that there are more things that haven't shown themselves. And yes, there are redeeming qualities to Skylanders Imaginators. Like, you'll be able to 3D print your own characters. But hey, wait. Activision doesn't want you to know that yet. So sorry. Shh. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's pretty much it for this rant video. I'm really sorry about being this negative, but this stuff just has to be said some sometime or another. I'll be moving into more positive news oriented stuff, you know, for the rest. You know, I'll be doing Skylander Showdowns. I'll be finishing that up um, this week. You'll be seeing those throughout the week, but um, I, I just had to say this. So, this has been Portal Master 9351. Tell me, what do you think about all this? What, what are your opinions on all of these issues um, in, in, in the Skylanders realm? Just, just tell me what you think. Anyways, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!